everyone, Hurricane Liz here, and I wanted to talk a little bit about one of the most important aspects of selling on Amazon that most people overlook. In fact, even I overlooked it for quite some time, and once I realized just how important it was, it took a while to get caught up, and it took a lot of money to pay someone to get it actually caught up. And until I met this guy that you're about to listen from, it really made sense to me how to put it all together. In fact, how to even automate this aspect of my business. And most of you probably already know what I'm talking about. That thing is accounting. It's not the sexiest part of doing business. It's not the most fun part, but there are people out there that could help you, especially the guy that I'm about to introduce to you. Now he was gracious enough to come on one of my OMG webinars and he presented the following information that you're about to hear and it's called the seven pitfalls of accounting and these pitfalls relate to any Amazon business and if you automatically take them away from today's presentation that he's about to share with you here and put them into your business and start listening to what he has to tell you you will automatically already be well ahead of other people and you're not going to cost yourself as much money as I did when I started so you want to take a listen to what he has to say implement those and if you'd like to buy the cor course that I bought from him it's the same course I highly encourage it there's a link below I will get a affiliate commission however I'm going to tell you it's the best course that I've ever bought because it automated my Amazon accounting and because of him I really have a nice system put together and it was all from the stuff that he showed me on that particular course. Now, if you don't want to if you're not a do-it-yourselfer and you don't want to know the back end of the business or how to put it together, guess what? I've got great news for you. You can also hire him. He specializes specifically in Amazon accounting. He's done some selling on Amazon himself as well as his brother, so he's very well versed in everything that there is to know about accounting for Amazon. So, I highly recommend you either get the course or you hire him. Either one is a fantastic decision and you're going to want to listen to what he has to say about the seven pitfalls of Amazon accounting. So here it is. As I said before, he presented this on one of my webinars a couple months back and it was, people just absolutely loved it. And as I said before, you will not regret listening to his advice here. So highly recommend you pay attention and you jot some notes down. I'll see you guys soon. And kind of the, the fourth practice here, um, and this is kind of diving into a little bit of a, a dicey topic, but one of the, the big uh, mistakes that I see folks make is they get too extreme with how they handle sales tax. And I, I honestly, like just a disclaimer, this isn't legal advice. It's sort of my opinion, you know, just the standard disclaimer of go talk to an attorney if this is something you're, you really want to get nailed down. But right now, I don't know how much you know about sales tax, but basically there's a lot of confusion right now of like Amazon has warehouses in all these states. Do I need to be signing up for sales tax in 15, 16, 17 different states? And what I'll say here is there are a lot of conflict of interest right now. And the, mo the, the, the big reason why is because the laws are really clear but the enforcement of those laws are really difficult. So you have sales tax software and you have sales tax professionals that are saying, hey, the laws are really clear. You're, you're gonna get screwed if you don't comply in 16 different states. And they, they do a lot of fear mongering. What, I'm not saying their motives are bad. That's probably what they honestly believe. And that's actually what the laws state. But the, the, the cold hard reality is the states have a really hard time um, enforcing their sales tax laws particularly if you don't live in that state. And so what happens is you have these, you have sellers that they, they basically go on and tell, give advice to other sellers that say, hey, look, all those quacks, they're just trying to scare you. You don't even have to worry about sales tax at all. I don't know a single person that's ever got caught owing sales tax. And so you have kind of these conflicts of interest of sellers who um, kind of like, do nothing. I haven't seen anybody get in trouble. And then you have these professionals that are like, oh my God, you're going to die. You got to sign up with my services today. And so really what we're do what I'm obviously recommend is let's find some balance. And kind of the, my tip for you is, hey, start with your home state. If, if you haven't done anything else, go ahead and sign up with your home state. The, the time and effort to do that is going to be pretty low. And then 
uh, what, what you should kind of, as you start to grow and get a little bit bigger, kind of, I recommend you kind of monitor your sales tax exposure and the other states that have Amazon warehouses. And, uh, and then really the first places you could, should ever even think about trying to comply is in, in the three big consumer states, which is California, Texas, and Florida. So what, for a lot of my clients, what they've done is they come to me in, in their home state. And then when, and then when they hit $50,000 in like recurring revenue every month, um, we start kind of analyzing, okay, how much exposure have you had in California and Texas and Florida? It may make sense to go ahead and sign up in those three states, but until you're a hundred, 200 grand a month, my personal opinion is you should probably not even worry about sales tax and, and states beyond that. I just don't think you're a big enough fish in the ocean that is these states for them to, to really be on you, for you to really be on the radar. So that's kind of my, my tip, start with your home state. And then as you start to grow, think about the three big states. And then beyond that, um, you, you could probably consider some of those, uh, the additional warehouse.